Here we go now, leaving the parking lot, heading back. You can see how nice the bike path is separated from the road. Again, I'm dating myself, but I would, when I was a kid, the bike path was a brand new thing. And you used to take your life in your hands trying to take a bike out to the island. Once the bike path got established, though, it worked really, really well. And it brought a lot of more people out to the island. This is the art center out here. I think there's three shops with three different artists. And again, I don't want to comment on anybody else's business sense. I just never felt the overwhelming need to go to the island and look at art. But I'm sure there are people who come here looking for beautiful things and when they get to an art place they think the two go together. I always thought the island was beautiful enough without art shops. Now you can see the underside of the conveyor belt. I remember when they put that in a whole bunch of people worked awful hard for them to put in that conveyor belt cover so that the coal dust wouldn't fall onto the road and contaminate the water and the road and the cars and create a safety hazard. And some 30 odd years later, I'm really glad they did that. Or maybe it's 40, I forget when that went in. Here's the water pond for the power plant. This is where they discharge the water into the hot pond at night. I guess you're not supposed to call it the hot pond anymore because we're not supposed to swim there. Here's a beautiful red tree. Leaves turn color this week and they'll fall today. That's a nice park. And now we're heading home. I may have misspoke. That may not be the hot pond. I think they took the water in cold from Lake Superior and then discharged it at another location where it was heated from the steam inside the power plant. But again, you're not supposed to swim in either place, so that's the bottom line. And anybody watching this, you certainly can feel the rain on yourself while you're watching it. It's cold, it's damp. It is a very typical fall day, 49 degrees at noon. I don't think we'll see 50. And then tonight, I suspect it's going to be awful cold again. This is the Holly Greer bike path. She was the city commissioner who pushed for it. And I think everybody agrees it's a great idea. Over in the distance now on the right, you can see what's left of the old Cliffs Dow property. As I said, they gave most of it to the city for a dollar. City's trying to figure out what to do with contaminated soil. Good luck with that. You can also see there's a jogger on the bike path. And this is an area where you go in with compost, which is very useful for local people to have a place to dump compost. And that's one of the few things you can do with contaminated soil is put compost on top of it. And over there is the Superior Dome, largest wooden dome in the world. I guess it beats a, dam a dome in Japan by one square foot or something. I don't know, I'm not an architect. I was there for the first football game that Northern played in the Dome. It was another fall day like this, horrifically cold and rainy. Couldn't believe we could sit inside in comfort and watch Northern play football. I don't think anybody misses Memorial Field sitting up in those bleachers, freezing every particular part of your body you can imagine. The Dome works. And it's a multi-use facility when they're not doing sport events in there. They have all sorts of shows, including the car show and craft shows, and it gets a lot of use. Plus, you can walk in there during bad weather, which is another recreational activity. I would say it's tax money well spent. Oh, I noticed they got the outside painted in kind of northern colors. Okay, we're coming off the island now. If you just noticed, you have to make a turn to get back onto Pine Street. Like I said, they've done an awful lot of work on this road in the last five years. And on the left up here is the YMCA, which was brand, brand new in the last 10, 15 years. Probably the most heavy used part of this piece of property is this outside skateboarding park. This is the first day in the last week that I've been in town that nobody's been on the skateboards here. 
every other time I've been here, there's been people using it. So we're off the island. We're at the corner of Pine and Fair. Take it easy. <laughs>